Hey Stampers, another video tutorial coming at ya. This one is for a super, 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 super cute purse. How cool is that? Little candies, I've got little Jolly Rancher candies in there. I'm gonna show you how to make that. And we'll embellish it a little bit. I found this from a stamper in the UK and absolutely loved it absolutely loved it and fairly simple to make um, so I'm gonna go over that today I just finished making a whole bunch for my stamp club slash catalog launch party um, so I'm very excited about that I'm filming on June 2nd which is the crossover date retiring and new catalog launch but I can show you all kinds of stuff because this video won't be posted until stamp club which is kind of cool um, so what I'm using is the cherry on top designer series paper stack so this is one of the new paper stacks that's in the catalog and look at these awesome patterns. Ho 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 ho. So fun, so cool. Lots of bright colors, which are some of my fave faves. Now, the biggest plus with this, which paper am I gonna use? See, it's hard to decide. That becomes the problem when it's hard to decide. I like this guy with the dots and the stripes because they're two very opposing patterns. We're going to need one sheet of the paper stack. And that's just an extra sheet I was using to punch, obviously. We'll use that later. We just need the one sheet, a six by six. How cool is that? These measurements, because they were from a demo in the UK, I needed to convert. Um, so they're a little bit off from what she did. I had to convert it to inches, but I made it work as best I can. Um, I had to fiddle with the handles a little bit. Um, but it still works. I think it works. They all look good to me. Um, so there you go. Now what you can do, I'm going to show you this one is with a rim folded out over the top. This little guy, we folded the paper in. So these are the same size, just there's a flap folded out, flap folded in. And then you can do them without folding at all. So they end up a little taller. Okay, so I'll show you how to fold those as we go. Okie dokie. Okay, so we've got our six by six, and what we want to do first, I want to cut at two centimeters, which is roughly 13 sixteenths of an inch. You'll see I did a whole bunch of them, so I marked on my on my stamp and trimmer. So I'm gonna put it out past the cutting blade to 13 sixteenths of an inch. And I'm gonna cut. This is a little different than what she did. You wanna do this twice. She scored and cut the handles right away, which would be super, but I couldn't get the measurements to work out the way I wanted. So we're gonna cut our handles and this is our body. I want my dots on the outside, so I'm gonna fold it. My sheet in half long lengthwise, okay? With my pattern that I want facing out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the folded edge, okay, this edge here, and we are going to score at, so again, we're going past our cutting to 9 sixteenths, and we wanna score, not cut. So we're gonna score down and score back. Okay, so you have a score line at the bottom of your purse, okay? Now we're gonna flip it and we're gonna do this outer edge and we're going to go past our cutting groove again to 7 sixteenths and we're gonna score again. And this is two sheets of DSP because you folded it over so go over the scoring a couple of times. Okay, so you have a smaller score here and here and then you have a bigger score on this side. I'm gonna put that aside for a second. And this is something a little different than what she did but I find it works a bit better for me. I am going to take my Simply Scored and at roughly, this one seemed one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're gonna go in one, two, three eighths of an inch. 
is roughly half, three eighths of an inch, three eighths of an inch. And now if you want your bag, oh, 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 oh. okay. This score right here, so we, f we scored on the fold of our bag, right? And then we scored on the separated pieces. You're going to score there if you want a fold out or a fold in. If you want this bag that's taller, don't score this one at all. Don't score these sides. Only score your folded piece. I'm sorry I missed that part. So right now we're making a bag that folds over. If you don't want it to fold, don't score that, that top sheet, that open side. Okay, I hope that helps. I want my pattern out, so I want my lines to come out over the top. You could fold them in if you wanted just a monochromatic bag, same pattern everywhere, no flap. I'm going to fold mine out today. Well, that's all the scoring we're doing, so I can get this out of the way. Now, for this piece, we're going to fold it opposite. Okay, fold it right over. And then we're going to fold these back on themselves. Does that make sense? So you end up with this. Okay, so we were folded like this. We're going to fold our flaps out for a different pattern. And then we're going to fold this in and back on itself. Pause and rewind if you need to. Okay, I'm going to take my paper snips. This is not measured exactly. You do have to go in about half an inch, I find, to be able to get the sides together. But you want to snip all three score lines on the bottom of your purse on each side. And then you're going to fold these in. Okay. Doesn't matter that they're not exact, don't worry about that. I, I'm a tad OCD and it doesn't bother me because the end result, you'll, you'll get what you need. So this is what you end up with, okay? I'm gonna use my fuse, you could use your sticky strip. This is gonna be posted after everything's retired, so if you have the new tear and tape adhesive, try that. Snail is great, probably won't keep it closed long enough, especially if you're gonna be gifting, so you wanna use a really strong adhesive. You can use adhesive under the flap and push it down. I have not done that for any of these, and I do not see any problem. The flap isn't coming up or anything. It's not adhered. The only adhesive I'm going to do, we're going to pick one side of our purse underneath our flap, and I'm going to put some of the fuse right along the edge. Right along the edge. So you've got adhesive on one side of your purse on both edges. Okay. This is why you want these flaps folded down because now what you're going to do is you're going to bring this side together and your guide is the top. So you want, I have to move this so I can kind of see my sticky strip so you can see where the edge is. I want to butt this up against right to the edge of my sticky strip. So I'm putting these two flaps together and then pressing all the way down and then poke this up. Okay, and then any excess you can just trim off if they don't match up perfectly. You can see where I'm going with this. There's one side of your purse. And then my sticky strips on this side, or my fuse, sorry. So I'm going to do the same thing. I hope you can see this well in the video. I want to catch the light so I can see where my fuse ends. I'm going to put this right up against underneath my other flap. And then I want to press down to make sure I cover all of my fuse, all of my sticky strip, whatever you're using. You don't want any sticky left over, right? And then there's a little bit of a lip there. I don't know if you can see that. Trim that off. My insides done. And now I, 
I was going to put glue dots under those flaps, but again, I haven't done that with any of these and they don't, they're not popping up. So it's up to you. You could stick a glue dot under there and, uh, and glue that down if you needed to. We can do that today just so that you can see what it'll look like. Lift this flap up, put a glue dot in. Lift this flap up. Tuck a glue dot in there. There we go. How cool is that? I'm just going to pull on the ends of my purse. And now you'll see we've got the flaps in there and you can see a hole, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Tombow. I'm going to put, okay, can you see this? Yes, you can. I'm going to put a little dot of Tombow if I can get it out. This is the one I was using all last night when I was putting together all of my purses. So let me just clean off the top of that puppy. Okay. I'm going to put, okay, you can see this. I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow there. You just need a little dot. You don't want it to squeak out. I'm going to do this side as well at the same time. Little dots of Tombow in there. I'm going to take my two fingers, press those up gently. You don't have to squeeze them till all get out. Just nice and gently until the Tombow dries. My arms are in the way of the camera. Eh, there we go. So I'm just pressing my fingers there. Not a lot of pressure at all. Give it a few seconds until the Tombow dries. And then this, you can see that angle, ensures there's no hole. So whatever you put in there, I'm just putting candies in them for the ladies, but if you wanted to put a pair of earrings and wrap them up in some tissue, or you wanted to put something a bit more delicate, or if it was pieces, you know, bits and bobs that were small that could fall out the hole, you don't have to worry about that anymore. The hole is, is all sealed up. See? How cool is that? Now, I did the handles differently on almost every bag. On this bag, they're together side to side so I did a, a, a strap this way and a strap that way these ones are opposite I did some far apart I did some close together I did some with with glue dots I did some with brads put some on the outside put some on the inside I did a little bit of everything it really it depends on what what you want to do here are all of my purses they're all different Papers. They're all decorated differently. Those are the candy dot brads. So you can you can go to town on these guys and just do whatever you like. So for this one, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that DSP and fold it over. It's as close as I can get to the middle. Pretty darn good if I do say so myself. And then if it's not, just fiddle with it. Recrease it. Is that a word? It is now. Okay. You can adhere. You can put adhesive in there if you want to. I didn't on mine. Um, I don't find there's a big problem with that, but if you'd like to put adhesive, you can. I am going to use my bone folder so that I can break up the, the fibers a little bit so that the, the handles will be rounded. Helps them stay together. And if you do have a little bit of an overlay, I kept that on the inside so that people wouldn't be able to tell. And for this guy, I'm going to do brads. Why not? So I'm going to put these two ends together. I do have my stamp and pierce mat. I was doing it just in the air <laughs> last night because I had so many of them to do. It's completely up to you. And I just eyeballed how far I wanted to go in. So I have both ends done that way. And then with this one, this is what I was doing last night because I was watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine on Netflix. There. Okay. And then what I did with this, I couldn't get it sitting as I wanted on my stamp and pierce mat, so I did this one in the air. I'm going to go closer on this guy, so I'm pinching these two together. And then poking through, pinching together, and then poking through and eyeballing it. If you're not a fan of eyeballing, you might be cringing at this one, but trust me, trust me, it works. 
These are the mini silver brads. That's why I used the paper piercer um, because I needed a hole small enough that the head of the brad would not come completely through. Sorry, can you see what I'm doing? There we go. But if you're going to use the handheld punches from Stampin' Up or a crop -a dial whatever you've got on hand, um, then that would be much easier for punching. Just use a bigger brad, um, like the candy dot brads. Those are bigger, so that wasn't a problem. Um, I think we've all put a brad or two in before, so that isn't anything new. There's one handle. Like I said, I did these guys a little closer together on this one. I've got a guest coming for my stamp club slash catalog launch party so I need to make sure I've got enough for everyone coming. These are just going to be little table goodies for the ladies, little snacks to keep them going while we're stamping. Little thank yous. I like to use my catalog launch party as a big thank you to all of my Stampin' Up! customers. They keep me going. I get to do what I love because of them. I love it. So appreciative. And I want to show them that all year, but especially at catalog launch. So there we go. Little handles. And what I did, let me get some of this. Oh, that's a button topper. Well, that would be why that's not fitting on that case. I wondered what was going on there. Let's get some of these purses out of the way. That's all done. Those are all filled. Um, what am I doing here? Punching. What I used on these guys was the little punch pack right here punch some flowers, put them on, you could put rhinestones on, you could put a little greeting if you like from Teeny Tiny Wishes, whatever you like. Embellish as you like, but there is the tutorial for the purse. Hope you had fun. Happy stamping!